Okay, next we're going to do some manipulations um, of the data. But first, let me do something that I should have done straight off the bat. I'm going to highlight the data by clicking on the top left cell, holding the cursor down, dragging it out. And um, now I'm going to format these numbers. Because after all, what does this number mean? It's 13104419. What is that? It's too complicated. Even 83325 is a bit on the complicated side. So let's simplify these numbers a little bit on the eyes. And we can do that by um, adding separators in, by adding commas in. So we do format cells. And we wait 10 minutes for it to come up. And then we click on, there's various things we can do. We want, um, we want to use number. And we need to select number again here because we're dealing with just the number. And we're going to insert a separator. We do not want any decimal places. We don't have decimals, and um, if we did, again, it would be very complicated to look at decimals with numbers that are this big. So set decimal places for zero, put the separator in, and then click OK. Now we have a set of numbers that's much easier to read, 13,104,419. But again, remember, these are already in millions of dollars. So um, actually, this 419 is millions. This is billions. This is, I guess, trillions. So um, this just shows how much we, we spend in the US economy. And you can see that down here now, it's actually automatically changed the chart as well. And it's put the separator in here. That makes it much more readable. So it's always good to use separators and simplify numbers. So. Next, we're going to get the chart out of the way. Let's move it down here because there's a few things I want to do underneath. So the first thing I want to do is let's find out what percentage of total consumer expenditures is accounted for by spending on other clothing materials and footwear. So we do that by clicking underneath here. And now we're going to enter a formula. And uh, formulas can be really simple or really complicated. We're going to use a really simple formula. And you start a formula by clicking on a cell and then hitting the equal sign. When you put in the equal sign, then Excel is expecting a uh, formula. And you can see up now up here, it's, it's made this new row here. And it says um, equals. So this is the formula bar and equals. And the one we're doing is quite simple. We want to know what percentage of total spending, uh, spending on clothing and materials and other footwear is. So we do that by click on this. We select cell C9, which has got this value in it. And then we hit backslash, um, which means divided, divided by. And then we click on total consumer expenditure. And so click on C8 and then hit return. And now our formula has been entered. And um, it means that um, um, spending on other clothing materials and footwear is 0 0.0063585 of total consumer expending. And I'm sure that's a complete shock to you. Um, but again, this is a very complicated number, and we don't want actually a number in this case. We actually want a percentage. What percent of this is that? So whilst we've got this cell selected, we go back to Format Cells, and we leave, leave it selected on the number thing at the top. And now we're going to select Percentage. And um, I think here, because the numbers are so small, we can use two decimal places. So we can actually see that it's going to come out like this, 0.64. So actually, um, other clothing materials and footwear are 0.64 of total consumer spending. So we've calculated that for quarter one in 2017. Now we want to do the same for all of these across here. Now we could do follow the same step, but there's a much easier way of doing that. What we do is we place the cursor over this little box in the bottom right corner. So we get this black cross, 
and now we click and hold the cursor down and we pull this across and it will automatically calculate it for that um, for every value going to the end of the series. So in the quarter one of 2017, um, spending on other materials and footwear was 0.64% of total consumer expenditures. And you can see it was mostly flat, but has declined a little bit. By quarter four, it was points of, of 2019, it was 0.61%. So um, then we can say, um, put in a title here, percentage share of total consumer expenditures. So that's what this relates to. Oh, I see that's left justified. This has been um, pushed over to the left, whereas these are centered. I can highlight these two cells and then go up here and click on the left justification. He said, oh, I see it's not actually done that way. It's, there's a space here that's the cause of it. So let me get rid of the space. There we go. And then I can actually narrow this up a little bit. So the next thing we can do is we can actually track what's the growth rate. How has expenditure grown um, over um, the period of time? And let's say we're going to do it for, for both time series, for both overall consumer expenditures and for spending on clothing and materials and footwear. So for this one, we do this. We start with an equal sign again. This one is a little bit more complicated. So the percentage change is based on the new value. In fact, we're going to open a um, parentheses here because we're going to have s several sections of this equation. So we're going to here click on quarter two value of 2017. We're going to um, subtract the quarter one value, close the parentheses. What that is telling Excel is do this calculation first before you do the next calculation. And the next calculation is to divide the product of those two by the original value, the quarter one value, and then we'll hit return. And again, we've got one of these tiny numbers, 0 0.008, but again, we can go format cells number is selected go down choose percentage we can go with two decimal places in this case because the numbers are so small and there we've got 0.82 percent so so this spending grew by less than one percent from quarter one to quarter two and again we can do the same thing we did before we can Put the cursor over that little green box at the bottom right, we get the black cross, pull it out, press the cursor down, pull it out, and all the other calculations will be done automatically. And then, here's an interesting thing, we can do the same again and pull it down, and it will do the calculations automatically for other clothing materials and footwear. So now we've done three sets of calculations and um, we can see the numbers are quite interesting that um, and you can actually see it in the chart how there was a, a significant bump in spending um, um, around quarter one quarter two um, of 2018 <coughs> so um, and the reason there's no value here is because for a value here it would be this divided by quarter four of 2016 and that's data we don't have so then we can put in titles here and say um, it will be annual per oh sorry it's not annual percentage change this is quarterly quarterly percentage change because we're looking from quarter to quarter quarterly percentage change um, and I'm going to be lazy and just put in PCE for personal consumer expenditures total PCE quarterly percentage change that describes what that row is 
I'm going to copy that because a lot of it we need for this one. And this one is um, let's say this is PCE on um, clothing, um, other clothing. And that's kind of big now. Um, and um, I mean, if we wanted to, we could make this into a percent. And we could do the same here if we want. Either way, if you're writing a very formal report, you've got to be careful about what um, the readers would want. But um, there we go. We, and I just readjusted the column to fit this. And now we have all the data calculations um, and the original numbers, and then our um, chart underneath.